AR-14, Wikipedia article audio. AR-14 is a repository of electronic preprints approved for publication after moderation, that consists of scientific papers in the fields of mathematics, physics, astronomy, computer science, quantitative biology, statistics, and quantitative finance, which can be accessed online. In many fields of mathematics and physics, almost all scientific papers are self-archived on the AR-14 repository. Begun on August 14, 1991, ARCS4.org passed the half-million article milestone on October 3, 2008, and hit a million by the end of 2014. By October 2016 the submission rate had grown to more than 10,000 per month. The AR-14 was made possible by the low-bandwidth text file format, which allowed scientific papers to be easily transmitted over the Internet and rendered client-side. Around 1990, Joanne Cohn began emailing physics preprints to colleagues as text files but the number of papers being sent soon filled mailboxes to capacity. Paul Ginspark recognized the need for central storage, and in August 1991 he created a central repository mailbox stored at the Los Alamos National Laboratory which could be accessed from any computer. Additional modes of access were soon added, FTP in 1991, Gopher in 1992, and the World Wide Web in 1993. The term e-print was quickly adopted to describe the articles. History Peer Review It began as a physics archive, called the LANL Preprint Archive, but soon expanded to include astronomy, mathematics, computer science, quantitative biology and, most recently, statistics. Its original domain name was xxx.lanl.gov. Due to LANL's lack of interest in the rapidly expanding technology, in 2001 Ginspark changed institutions to Cornell University and changed the name of the repository to arcs4.org. It is now hosted principally by Cornell, with eight mirrors around the world. Its existence was one of the precipitating factors that led to the current movement in scientific publishing known as open access. Mathematicians and scientists regularly upload their papers to arcs4.org for worldwide access and sometimes for reviews before they are published in peer-reviewed journals. Jin Spark was awarded a MacArthur Fellowship in 2002 for his establishment of AR-14. The annual budget for AR-14 is approximately $826,000 for 2013-2017, funded jointly by Cornell University Library, the Simons Foundation and annual fee income from member institutions. This model arose in 2010, when Cornell sought to broaden the financial funding of the project by asking institutions to make annual voluntary contributions based on the amount of download usage by each institution. Annual donations were envisaged to vary in size between $2,300 to $4,000, based on each institution's usage. As of January 14, 2014, 174 institutions have pledged support for the period 2013-2017 on this basis, with the projected revenue from this source of approximately $340,000. In September 2011, Cornell University Library took overall administrative and financial responsibility for Arxiv's operation and development. Jin Spark was quoted in the Chronicle of Higher Education as saying it was supposed to be a three-hour tour, not a life sentence. However, 
Jin Spark remains on the AR-14 Scientific Advisory Board and on the AR-14 Physics Advisory Committee. Although the AR-14 is not peer-reviewed, a collection of moderators for each area review the submissions, they may recategorize any that are deemed off-topic, or reject submissions that are not scientific papers. The lists of moderators for many sections of the AR-14 are publicly available, but moderators for most of the physics sections remain unlisted. Submission Formats Additionally, an endorsement system was introduced in 2004 as part of an effort to ensure content is relevant and of interest to current research in the specified disciplines. Under the system, for categories that use it, an author must be endorsed by an established AR-14 author before being allowed to submit papers to those categories. Endorsers are not asked to review the paper for errors, but to check whether the paper is appropriate for the intended subject area. New authors from recognized academic institutions generally receive automatic endorsement, which in practice means that they do not need to deal with the endorsement system at all. However, the endorsement system has attracted criticism for allegedly restricting scientific inquiry. A majority of the e-prints are also submitted to journals for publication, but some work, including some very influential papers, remain purely as e-prints and are never published in a peer-reviewed journal. A well-known example of the latter is an outline of a proof of Thiston's geometrization conjecture, including the Poincaré conjecture as a particular case, uploaded by Grigory Perlman in November 2002. Perlman appears content to forego the traditional peer-reviewed journal process, stating, If anybody is interested in my way of solving the problem, it's all there let them go and read about it. Despite this non-traditional method of publication, other mathematicians recognized this work by offering the Fields Medal and Clay Mathematics Millennium Prizes to Perlman, both of which he refused. Access While the AR-14 does contain some dubious e-prints, such as those claiming to refute famous theorems or proving famous conjectures such as Fermat's last theorem using only high school mathematics, they are surprisingly rare. The AR-14 generally reclassifies these works, e.g. in general mathematics, rather than deleting them. Papers can be submitted in any of several formats, including latex and PDF printed from a word processor other than TEX or latex. The submission is rejected by the AR-14 software if generating the final PDF file fails, if any image file is too large, or if the total size of the submission is too large. AR-14 now allows one to store and modify an incomplete submission and only finalize the submission when ready. The time stamp on the article is set when the submission is finalized. The standard access route is through the arcs4.org website or one of several mirrors. Several other interfaces and access routes have also been created by other unassociated organizations. These include the University of California, Davis S. Front, a web portal that offers additional search functions and a more self-explanatory interface for arcs4.org, and is referred to by some mathematicians as front. A similar function used to be offered by ePrintWeb.org, launched in September 2006 by the Institute of Physics, and was switched off on June 30, 2014. Carnegie Mellon provides Table AR-14, a search engine for tables extracted from AR-14 publications. Google Scholar and Live Search Academic can also be used to search for items in AR-14. A full text and author search engine for AR-14 is provided by Scient Illion. Finally, 
researchers can select subfields and receive daily emailings or RSS feeds of all submissions in them. Copyright Status of Files Files on AR14 can have a number of different copyright statuses. Controversy Some authors have voiced concern over the lack of transparency in the AR14 academic peer review process. Dimitris Christopoulos from the National and Kapodistrian University of Athens likens AR-14 to a non-declared journal without a known editor-in-chief, without a specific written policy regarding submitted papers, and that applies hidden censorship to all papers that do not fall within established scientific dogma. Notes